name Norman Bates sound familiar, then you'll understand this story. And uh, some guys from MIT decided to basically create the first psychopath artificial intelligence. If you're new to the channel, check out the AI Future uh, playlist on the YouTube channel because we cover AI artificial intelligence extensively about the robots, different robot kitchen, all of this stuff. So basically, the artificial intelligence, it read a Reddit discussion. And they basically just fed it that data. And I guess it was a lot of negative um, comments and, you know, negative things like that, basically. And come to find out, they did the Rosarch test with the ink, ink blocks or whatever they're called, where you see in the movies where they show people a picture and they're like, what does this look like? And it looks like a splash of paint or something. And they'll say, well, it looks like uh, sad, the last day of the world or something, you know, we, you've seen it in the movies. So they showed the different uh, ink blocks to the um, AI robot, Norman, and it would be like birds on the tree, and he would say a man dying, falling out of a window or something, like the most normal circumstances, he would just see death and violence and blood. And I don't really know how to really take this article but I, it does resonate with me because we cover AI stuff here but I think the first thing that came to my mind was that it shows how even if it is a robot it shows that how you consume your information and what information you consume definitely is going to have an effect on you unless you're meditating like 20 minutes a day at least all of this stuff, this negative stuff that you're consuming, it's going to have an effect on you. Because at least when you meditate, it's like you're getting a clean slate, so to speak. So, I'm just putting that, uh, I thought that was an interesting story on, you know, it shows how what we consume and the different robots, like, they're going to get into the police force. They're going to, they're already in our homes. And it's like, they're going to get more and more advanced, more and more smarter, meaning how we treat each... Think about how we treat each other negatively. Think about how we... The negative things we do and say to each other. And then we go online and see the negative things. And it's like the more and more human the uh, robots get, the more of a chance they have of being um, negative robots and taking it out on us. The next robot, uh, the, the robot officer or the robot, anything, the closer these robots get to a human kind of level, the more we need to remember this story because it serves as a uh, warning sign, so to speak, of um, potentially what could happen.